Hi, this is Melanie Dawn, and this is Dawn of Wisdom. Hope everybody is good. Today, I went on a long walk, and I had some insight into um, the topic I want to talk about today. I'm familiar with it. I'm not a doctor or a therapist, but I am an expert of what I'm going to talk about And it is an uncomfortable topic because um, it's about insecurities. Insecurity, yes, we all have them. They are personal. They cause anxiety. You know, being honest about our insecurities feels weak. Yet being aware of our insecurities can, if honest, make us stronger less insecure. So here we go. Insecurity, uncertainty or anxiety about oneself, a lack of confidence, says it very well. How do we use our insecurities to grow? Uh, That path is exactly the path we need to take. We need to explore them. We need to explore our insecurities. We spend a lot of our life pretending that um, we have it together. We learn to prepare and pretend out of our insecurities when it comes to allowing ourselves to be aware of our insecurity, the many insecurities that some of us have, and being honest about them. It's vulnerable. Yeah. Yeah very vulnerable. We we know the feeling. We get when feeling insecure about something. We flush, feel fear, shame, anxiety. We defend ourselves and on and on the way we protect ourselves from our own insecurities. We uh, avoid those feelings. We avoid them. They be, They make us feel uncomfortable, yet we all have them. Isn't that funny? We all have them. Yeah. Why is it so scary and uncomfortable to admit we are uh, feeling insecure at any moment? Why? Well, we, we must understand where they come from. When we become aware of um, why they come up, we can begin to change. Insecurities <laughs> develop when we compare ourselves to others and feel less than um yeah it's a it's a touchy subject for some since uh feeling insecure seems an unavoidable part of the human experience i truly believe that we need to understand how to deal with it we need to understand how to work through them how to confront them how to fucking name them if we need to um, we want to avoid judgment by hiding those insecurities. Yeah. Example, a person who is insecure about their weight may wear baggy clothes to hide their uh, shape of their body. Hiding our insecurities are a temporary solution because we all, by the end of the day, are with ourselves hiding insecurities it can be just fucking exhausting the long long term solution to overcoming our insecurities is awareness we need to be aware of them we need to know them we do we need to practice self acceptance vulnerability is the key honesty with ourselves when we practice self-awareness when we are honest and vulnerable about those insecurities we stop judging ourselves and find that others who judge us just don't matter you care less about someone judging you um when we become aware of those insecurities when they they pop up it's the beginning of healing That fear that we are not good enough or simply not enough, that constant feeling of being judged, 
feelings of insecurity leave us so over dependent on external factors admiration praise etc insecurities keep us from being heard from being honest we are less create creative less true to who we really are it is our responsibility to awaken to be aware to toughen up you want to make insecurities a moment not a chronic condition insecurities can be our teacher our best teacher i truly believe this let's talk about some ways to work through our insecurities of course awareness when we feel insecure about something ask how ask why instead of falling into that insecurity stop and breathe and ask yourself where it came from exploring each of them is scary uncomfortable yet exciting and healing they're, they're they're like those triggers those shadows it's it's fun to explore them you become vulnerable you become honest we become real we can use them as a wow moment when aware our insecurities are an opportunity to do some good work some good work on ourselves i have been an insecure person almost all my life i know why and being aware has literally saved my life my what life was all about survival and to survive i pretended i was good i was good enough i saw my insecurities as weakness they scared the hell out of me it's an anxiety way to live it's an anxious way to live and it actively harms you what i have learned is i um needed to be more vulnerable to speak to name my insecurities when i when i find myself in this loop i i say to myself how did this come about and i and i work through them i work through those uh those moments of insecurity when i'm feeling uh and judging myself at, at the moment i have i try to have more compassion i try to give myself compassion we need to give ourselves compassion we're so hard on ourselves we have to practice self acceptance when when you are feeling insecure speak them speak them them out loud or to a safe person we all need that safe person someone you trust someone that will not judge you for feeling insecure somebody that will just listen and will tell you all the good about you that everybody needs that in their in their life you need a, a a positive mirror that shines back on you and i'm hoping everybody has someone like that in their life instead of explaining it away you talk about them when we speak to them we take the way the power that they have over us vulnerability fuck taking the shame defensiveness anger away by practicing awareness being vulnerable about our insecurities can be a healing for me they can be just life saving forgiveness forgiving ourselves for having insecurities we develop insecurities growing up through trauma feeling unloved whatever it may be we can work th- them through practice forgiving yourself for feeling insecure we are human we are able to heal by being aware awareness is the key be aware of these parts of you you don't like you can then begin to change them feeling into our insecurities stop breathe and send them love for example i was uh asked to hang out with my daughter daughter-in-law sister all the girls including my ex husband's wife I'm going to go wine tasting just hang out and talk and i had a full on panic attack i started com- 
comparing myself to her. I felt judged. I felt everyone would be watching my reaction. It was terrifying. I felt so insecure. I went on a long walk because nature and walking, that is to me a as medicine. I sat on a bench and I meditated. First of all, I needed to be honest. So I texted my daughter in law and told her I did not think my heart could do this. I was honest. And then I went inward. My little girl was scared of rejection. Will my daughter ignore me? Will I feel safe? Will I be liked? Will I feel shame? My little girl was there in that moment in my trauma. I felt unloved. I was not loving myself. I cried and I knew where it was all coming from because I went inward to find out why, find out how. I explored the how and the why. It was healing. I ended up having a wonderful time. There were moments, but I, but I felt such a healing. We must practice self-awareness to heal our insecurities. They might always be there. They will always be there. But when we are honest and allow ourselves to be vulnerable, they stop taking over our fucking mind and body. And we can then heal. We can begin to heal. All right. I'm going to read a few quotes that I love. And I hope you guys do too. Stop allowing your own insecurities to color the way you interpret someone else's intentions. Listen to that again because that's important. Another one. Self-awareness doesn't stop you from making mistakes. It allows you to learn from them. I love that. Self-awareness involves deep personal honesty. It comes from ask. Sorry about that. My alarm just went off. Let's practice sending love to those parts of us we don't like. Let's learn to love those parts of us. Let's start to see our insecurities as uh, tools, uh, uh, healing tools, because we are worth it. All right, Nurse Mello on Instagram, nurse.mello on yahoo.com. Thank you.